Hello Capricorn, I'm hoping you're doing well. This is your weekly reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars and this will be for um, 19th through the 25th. So uh, I'm going to look at what important events, what surrounds you, what are the possible energies. So of course take what resonates, leave the rest. So I asked what do you need to know this week from the Astro Diocese. The Sun came in. The Sun comes a lot for you guys. Um, even in the, the last few readings, which is good. To have the sun, we're talking here about creativity uh, when it comes to a high position, especially with the 10th house, which is your house, uh, career, profession here. You also got uh, number six, the sixth house. Anything that has to do here with work and job, especially again with the 10th house, work, job, career, whatever you're working for, uh, right now, whatever you're doing, you're going to get or a high position here, um, or there's going to be here some type of responsibility but again you feel like this is your calling um, anything also when it comes to um, I feel like routine improving yourself taking care of yourself is going to be important Taurus and Sagittarius came in as well so I feel like um, depending on your chart here where Taurus and Sagittarius is that's going to like impact your week something that area I'm gonna see what's coming in with um, with the reading or some of you might be dealing with a Taurus and a Sagittarius let's see though what is important for the 19th through the 25th 19th through the 25th but yeah I feel like especially a job career here um, high status profession reputation is going to be very important something that you feel like you have to get recognized being in the spotlight your values here with Taurus how you you know when it comes to your possessions you know something that you feel like okay how do you move forward is it worth it when it comes to Taurus um, and like the 10th house and the 6th house where we do feel like you know attitude towards service especially with the 6th house co-workers with Taurus it's like, you know, what will I receive <laughs> in a way? Uh, depending on your chart, again, I know that is this is for Capricorn, but where Taurus is in your chart is like what's valuable, my self-worth, you see, Taurus energy. What is worth it? How much longer? If you continue working on this situation, is it going to bring rewards uh, kind of a thing? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars, 19th through the 25th, please. One more. I'm going to clarify so the first time when I do this reading I'm just trying to like solve the whole reading together once I clarify it will, it will make more sense all right so you guys have gotten the aces a lot too so aces bring beginnings a start or something here a potential this is something you might be feeling when it comes again to your own vitality to when it comes to work something that you feel inspired Again, it's now, it's quick, it's inspirational, it's passionate. Yeah, maybe you want to awaken something here within you. You want to start something. All right, so what is your situation? My goodness, why does the tower follow you all the time? When the tower comes in, we really feel like, uh, especially when it comes to our habits, it's Mars energy, by the way, but I've, I've, I think I've said this before that uh, right now Mars is in Gemini. If you have a Sagittarius placement, that is opposing you. But uh, it's going to enter Cancer and I feel like you guys are going to go through a lot with that too. Um, it's not pleasant, the Tower, but most of the time, depending on the rest here, it can be a blessing in disguise. Shake-ups, changes of your routine, of your work, it, it's going to come in here that's that's what it is like you're dealing with with some type of look at it is like a tornado type of situation out of the blue and it's changing whatever is this position your reputation here my goodness you are worried you know something has to change you know and the tower coming in if this is not happening he's saying yes you have to to make this drastic change guys i'm not telling i'm not saying that i'm just <laughs> reading the cards so you again 
take responsibility here of your own life but that's how I feel like the tower comes in in a reading or is preparing you or is telling you that eventually something needs to change about your career or your status or you know your values here Mars this is another Mars so Mars coming in right now it is about your actions it is when it comes here to your will to your passions the Nine of Swords has been thinking and thinking and thinking. And look, we have here some wisdom. But someone is like afraid. Something out um, of what you have been maintaining here needs to come uh, in the surface. You're worried. You've been overthinking about it. Okay. Hmm. Is it a proposal? Man, you have gotten this. Scorpio has gotten this. At the root of this, we have the romantic night, the receptive night, the loving, the empathetic. Let's see if this is going to lead um, to romance this reading, or it can be career romance or everything together. But at the heart of this reading, we have uh, actions from the heart. <clears throat> yeah, that's why the tower needs to come in here, this shake-up, because the two of swords... Um, I mean, you can stay with the Two of Swords and not decide. In the end, it's like a decision is going to be made. The situation you've been dealing with is like, yeah, I have to deal with this change. I have to deal with the tower. I need, need to deal with this drastic, uh, in, in a, even unexpected here sometime with the tower. It's like, look at it. That's why it feels like, it, were you prepared? You were waiting? You, you were like a kind of saying, okay, there's going to be this love coming in, or I'm going to go towards this pathway here, these actions. Oh, my God. <sighs> oh, my God. Like, guys, you've gotten, even in the last reading, uh, the sun keeps coming in. Because, again, I feel like the universe is telling you, you're supposed to shine. You're supposed to go towards this happiness, this joy. Do not be afraid of it, moon and sun. That's whatever it is. I don't know if you feel like there's a lot of admiration, a lot of happiness or joy about someone. Or you feel like this is going to make me happy. This is when I'm going to feel like everything is coming in. Um, let's see. Because I want to see how the whole reading comes in. Another nine. Okay. Sagittarius, by the way. Moon. Moon, moon, sun. Feelings, actions here. Like a full moon effect type of situation. Now, the Nine of Wands that is coming in, look at it. It, it has built a lot behind. Um, still standing strong. So I feel like whatever you're doing in your daily life, when it comes to your routine, when it comes to your status, when it comes here to, like, uh, by the way, that's why the Sun, um, the Nine of Wands here, and the Sun coming together, because the Nine of Wands is like, I believe, this is, I'm going to get this happiness. I'm going to uh, get this when it comes to joy or, you know, motivation inspiration here and that's what the nine of wands is defending there's this strength and belief here that yes it's it's tiring it's exhausted but it feels like i'm gonna stand here strong because i've come all this way here you guys get the eight of wands a lot right always about for some of you whatever you have felt like you wanted to act quickly or you have had these ideas or even messages or communication something here that maybe you know was too quick too swift but after that is like what happens the eight of wands in the end feels like crushed and burned but the nine of wands is saying nope i'm still standing here i still believe whatever that is whatever the tower is bringing or changing here with the nine of swords uh, Sagittarius and Gemini it's going to um, kind of be that I'm almost there I'm not going to give up there's a protective there's a protective by the way energy that is coming in someone is very protective or when it comes to their uh, reputation when it comes here to their work when it comes to this love all right Hierophant this is in your crown chakra. What do you think is going to happen or wants to happen? This is your behavior, the Hierophant. Your belief here. And there's that Taurus energy, by the way. Whatever crisis, whatever situation, true devotion, by the way, marriage, commitment, vows, promises for some of you. Or again, you feel like something traditional here is going to happen. 
but in your um, thoughts and in your behavior, you feel like there's a higher power. There's true love. Things are going to come towards you here. And you know what? External to you is saying that there's a good news, celebration, marriage for some of you, but someone wants to reconcile or is telling you, you don't see this good news, but it's coming in. Mercury in Cancer. You see the Seven of Pentacles. You feel like maybe again, things have to wait. You have worked or put a lot of investment in situation. You're not sure how this is going to go, but you feel like I need to wait or be careful here. Okay. I like it because you have that the Page of Cups, which I feel like Leo had this as well. So with the Eight of Pentacles, guys, whatever, I feel like it, I said six house and this is Virgo. Um, energy, whatever it's like, you feel like what's next, I have to wait or I have to put a lot of work it, improvement uh it's coming in things finally are working some of you may be getting a, a position again um and being a kind of recognized for your um i feel like skills or talents but i will say for some of you do not give up i i feel like again you want here because i'm getting the uh, or cre creative wise or when it comes to a person and situation at the root of this you feel like love or romantic approach here or something more receptive is best you are worried again because something will change completely with uh, and i'm going to clarify with the tower and that's what worries you also because if you are a perfectionist with the eight of pentacles there and you are protecting again this to me is optimism standing strong is going to like you know give you the skills the talent the mastery or the job or the work this week is going to be mostly staying optimistic Again, I feel like some of you, maybe um, you are um, good at whatever here when it comes to counselor, uh, when it comes here to uh, mentoring. I'm being very specific only because also I see, you know, um, those dice is there. But for others, when it comes to a relationship, there's going to be efforts and work and improvement here. Self-improvement for some of you is going to be important, even if after that is going to result maybe again you work with this person and then it's going to result to some type of uh love expression of love creativity here but this is putting your head down literally with that and keep on working here again you're going to get the good news someone external to you, you don't see it yet is going to come with some type of reconciliation or you're going to eventually get the sun here because i feel like this is what you're asking or you want to happen but you know there's a certain things here that need a little bit more work more dedication um so yeah self-improvement uh job opportunities here creative uh kind of endeavors coming in also if it is between you and someone else someone is um like crafting something here to uh to send it to you it's like a labor of love by the way that is coming in so um i think you're gonna be happy do not stress do not overthink he's saying do what you uh, know here work with what you know improvements even if something is being completely you know out of the blue here or it, it catches you by surprise just because of the way you think and act, you're going to uh, bring improvements here. I feel like a blessing in disguise, whatever that is. Yeah, okay, guys. I feel like for some of you, I don't know if it is uh, uh, that you are in love. And you want to see how this is going to go. It, it's going to go well. Yes, as I mentioned, this is expression of love opening up, dreaming here. But it's saying the outcome right now is going to be putting uh, work, putting efforts, detail-oriented. Um, this needs some time. But I, I don't know, maybe someone unexpectedly comes in your life or you feel like uh, you have fallen in love. What is the Nine of Swords, please? Yeah, okay. Mm, the Page of Pentacles. I don't know if you're thinking, and guys, I will repeat it. If it is not about love, it is about a career, just know, again, these pages are about you trusting, having this dream, but also the Page of Pentacles is like kind of, okay, I need to work. I need to bring things into the uh, 
tangible in the real world. But to me, this is you worry if you have to open up something about this person, maybe send a me message, unveil something, and you're kind of worried about it. What is uh, the Knight of Cups, please? Man, you have been like, uh, okay, the Eight of Cups. A lot of burdens. Some of you feel like you had to walk away from something here. Uh, so the Knight of Cups being at the center of this, or again, the plot of this reading, I feel like whatever disappointment, whatever burdens here, uh, you still, again, you have all the Aces, which I feel like I, I said, you get all the Aces, you get the Sun, all beginnings here. Uh, to me, it's like someone that has been manifesting or been thinking of the opportunities of love or actions towards love. But at the same time, you, you might feel like, oh, this is too late. This is like, uh, I feel like both of these cards are, uh, by the way, both of these are Saturn. Yep, Saturn in Sagittarius, Saturn in Pisces. Um, there's been a lot of discipline and hard work and I feel like disappointment, something that you felt like both of these need to, to leave behind. Like the Ten of Wands is leaving behind. Um, it's like memories here. The Eight of Cups as well, all those feelings. But the Magician is coming in and saying, nope. There's, there's something else here. I have all these tricks. I have all these abilities. I can create magic. So whatever uh, those restriction and disappointment here is, the root of this is still this sense of romantic approach. What is the Two of Swords, please? Yeah, in the past, it's coming. That's why right now something needs to, to come out. The Queen of Swords. A lot of silence, a lot of waiting. That Queen of Swords, um, if it is you, you're very cautious to open up. If the Queen of Swords is someone, again, that you are in love with, it's like, how do I approach this Queen of Swords? I need to be cautious. Because, again, there's been some bad blood. There's been some hurt. So that's how that is coming in. What is the... Like, someone needs to stand their ground strong here. Like, overcoming anything. The higher ground... Um, what is the sun here? Oh my goodness, the Wheel of Fortune comes for you a lot as well. The Justice and the Two of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this also Sagittarius. Uh, it might be a situation here that you have been waiting for the right opportunity or you're dealing with karmic situation or consequences, pros and cons. Or again, you're trying to be objective with justice. But again, we have this Mars, another Mars here energy in Aries that someone feels like, but this is where I want to go. This is what makes me happy. And I'm just waiting for this opportunity here for something to change you're waiting for for changes but you're afraid with the tower if it's going to be an unwanted change and most of the time again the tower it's it's not desirable because we don't like to change we're creatures of habit so you're waiting for something here positive distant intentions proposals for some of you, maybe regarding, again, um, with the Justice card, contracts, good karma. What is the Nine of Wands, please? But I like that you're thinking like that because you feel like something is going to come in. Yeah, stay strong. That's why the uh, I said someone in high positions. Whoever this emperor is... Not only is very protective and strong, but again, it's very fair. You guys are going to receive something or from when it comes to uh, promotion or when it comes to career or you are in a high positions, you have the means to give. This is beautiful, especially again, when it comes to career. Someone is uh, protecting again their, their um, role here. Their throne. <laughs> Uh, but look how fair it is. It's coming with the Six of Pentacles. So yeah, I stand strong here. Someone um, or is standing strong in the belief that this I have a high position, I have responsibility, and I need to be um, kind of exchanging something here. Or sometimes 
I don't know, some of you, if you are in a high position, there's someone here that you love, but you have to maintain this uh, role. What is the Hierophant, please? Yep, there's the Mars in uh, Capricorn. Look, nobody uh, is going to make you act in an unethical way. I can tell you that. And if you've been waiting again for something finally to come here to work out, compromise, collaboration, you're going to stand strong in that belief. Nobody tarnishes your reputation, your strong ethics. You, you have this strong belief and faith, strong convictions here. What is the Three of Cups? Guys, something you have been patient and been trying to adjust here. It may be your person. Yeah. There's been some bad blood. I keep something happening in the past, but whatever there was, because we have three people here, there's going to be some healing. There's going to be someone wants to come here with some good news. Maybe again, someone that has felt hurt or has acted in a way before. That I feel like again, this the, the person with the red coat here feels like has the authority. And he's acting on that good authority. But there's someone uh, behind here that is not being ethical. So I feel like, again, it's coming finally with some type of good news regarding a situation from the past. Or, again, if someone has acted in a way to hurt you, there's going to be healing and balance. All right, so what is the Seven of Pentacles? A wish fulfillment you see rewards yep the three of cups you you feel like how do i act what do i need to do is saying proceed with it again you have everything you have all the tools i don't know maybe something physical here a letter a work a craft something something is going to bring you uh the success yep you're happily ever after i feel like you are working towards your future here improving you're building the, the home, the family you want, or the dream that you have. What is this? Oh my goodness, the Two of Cups is coming in. Look, uh, with the Death card. So, guys, it's not over. You keep getting the Death card. But to me, saying this is regarding some type of family coming together here. Regarding something maybe you thought that it was over. You mourned this situation. That's why you're going with the Tower. What's going to happen now? Self-love, by the way, for some of you, it might be a situation you're working on yourself. But I feel like for, for others, it's a connection here. And you, I feel like you have the position or the ability to make it work. Let's see. What is the Page of Cups? Okay, there's the Ten of Pentacles that you get. Family, family here. Or this is... What you're dreaming and you're hoping how this is going to develop. The uh, Page of Cups is a dreamer. It's Piscean. Has already thought about everything. How many children? <laughs> but how our house is going to be uh, built. Look, we have a dog. We have everything. So this is manifestation of the life that you want. For some of you, you might be right now feeling like you have to work very hard towards it. Or you have to put efforts. But... You are on your way. You are on your way to greatness. You are on your way to high positions. That's why the sixth house again and the tenth house. Keep doing what you're doing. Be optimistic here. Be authentic. Um, take care again. I feel like you, uh, since the Taurus energy comes in. Oh, did this turn? This was Sagittarius. Did this turn to a Capricorn? How interesting. Um, value things again your possessions your values are going to be very important love with taurus but uh you're you really you are on your way to, to success and building i feel like the dream here that you have had i truly hope this resonates with you guys thank you bye-bye